Welcome back to Top Choice Movies Recap. The movie of the day is a 2020 mystery film based on the first book in the young adult fiction series of the same name by Nancy Springer. It is titled Enola Holmes. Sit back, relax and enjoy it. Enola Holmes is the youngest sibling in the famous Holmes family. She is extremely intelligent, observant, and insightful, defying the social norms for women of the time. Her mother, Eudoria, has taught her everything, from chess to jiu-jitsu, and encouraged her to be strong-willed and to think independently. On her 16th birthday, Enola wakes to find out that her mother has disappeared, leaving behind only some birthday gifts. A week later, she meets her brothers Mycroft and Sherlock at a train station, although they couldn't recognize her at first, not having seen her in many years. Sherlock finds her to be intelligent, whereas Mycroft finds her troublesome, and as Mycroft being the head of the house and her legal guardian decided to send her away to a finishing school run by the stern Miss Harrison. The flower cards left by her mother reveal secret messages and lead to hidden money, which Enola uses to escape and disguised as a boy. On the train, she found a young Viscount, Tewkesbury, hidden in a travel bag. She thinks he is a nincompoop, but warns him that a man in a brown bowler hat, named Linthorn, is on the train searching for him. Linthorn subsequently finds and tries to kill Tewkesbury, leading to him and Enola jumping off the train to escape. Neither having any food, Tewkesbury forages for edible plants and fungi. They travel to London and part ways. Disguised as a proper Victorian lady, Enola continues to trace Eudoria and leaves cryptic messages in the newspaper personal advertisements. Enola discovers pamphlets and a safe house containing explosives and learns that Eudoria is part of a radical group of suffragettes. She is attacked by Lindhorn, who tortures her for information about Tewkesbury, attempting to drown her. They fight but she ignites the explosives in the safe house and escapes. Enola decides to pause the search for her mother and instead find Tewkesbury again, intending to save him because she thinks him incapable of defending himself. Enola visits the Tewkesbury estate at Baselweather Hall to learn more. Meanwhile, Mycroft asks Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard to search for Enola. Enola finds Tewkesbury selling flowers in Covent Garden, and warns him of the danger. She takes him to her lodgings, but she was caught by Lestrade and imprisoned in Miss Harrison's finishing school by Mycroft. Sherlock visits her and admits he is impressed by her detective work. Tewkesbury sneaks into the school, and they escape together, stealing Miss Harrison's motor car. They reach a fork in the road, and, rather than returning to London, Enola decides they must go to Baselweather Hall and face Tewkesbury's uncle, who she has deduced, was trying to kill him. The estate is seemingly deserted, but Lindhorn ambushes them, firing a shotgun. Enola trips him, using a jiu-jitsu move, causing a fatal head injury. Tewkesbury's grandmother is revealed as the real villain, a staunch traditionalist she did not want him to take his father's place in the House of Lords and vote for the reform bill. She shoots her grandson in the chest, but he survives thanks to a plate of armor he had hidden under his clothes. Sherlock arrives at Scotland Yard, and Lestrade asks him two questions. First, how he managed to solve the case, and second, how his sister solved it first. Enola shares a tearful goodbye with Tewkesbury. She finds and deciphers a message in a newspaper, but deduces that it was not sent by her mother. At the meeting point, Sherlock and Mycroft discuss Enola, and Sherlock suggests becoming her guardian. They decide to leave, but Sherlock notices a clue, choosing not to look for Enola. All the while, Enola has been watching, disguised as a newsboy. Returning to her lodgings, Enola finds her mother waiting there. 
They embrace, and Eudoria explains why she had to leave, and why she must leave again. But she is impressed by what Enola has become. Enola has found her freedom, and her purpose. She is a detective, and a finder of lost souls. To watch more of our video, click on the video on screen. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.